Well, good morning. Uh, it is a. Uh, make sure I'm doing the speed limit. Yep, slowing down, slowing down. Going through various mountain towns. Gotta slow down from the highway speeds, which is why I've grabbed the camera. It's about the only time that it's. I'm not gonna say safe. It's somewhat safer, but it is still a distraction. I should not be doing it while I drive, so I'm just gonna make it quick. My plan for today is to check out what I am unsure of in regards to Rocky Mountain National Park. Uh, we've talked about previously that I would, the last time I was there was a full month ago, a little, little more than a month ago, um, and saw the elk, which was really cool. And I went all the way up one of the mountains and the range there, and I have since looked a little further and learned um, just how big the park is and how where it closes on different sides of the park because there's a side on there's an east side and a west side right and on one side it closes for the winter and the other side is still open a bit but they mostly close excuse me the mountain pass um, that from all the wording that I can find on the websites that I can understand from all that I don't I've, I've not I've only been to there twice once twice once 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 um, it's closed further up near the mountain to keep people from going on the mountain which makes sense the road itself is just called closed winters the trail road that's there so it is closed for the winter but I don't know if that means it's closed further in I don't I don't exactly know and if I look on uh, Google Maps it shows road closures much closer like the entrance of the park they're like it's saying it's closed so there's a very good chance that I might get out there and it's closed entirely um, in which case I'll turn around and go somewhere else but I don't know that yet and I have to find out because if it's not closed then I can't actually go as long as it's I, I, it may be closed, and that's why, because they don't plow there, which makes sense. We get a lot of snow. It just snowed uh, two days ago, which was, I went out on Wednesday, it is now Saturday. I did not say that specifically. We just had a, had a little holiday, which was nice. Stayed home and played uh, a lot of video games and ate a lot of food and enjoyed the time off, and that's why I'm itching to get back out today. So, anyway. Like I said, keeping it short, keeping it quick. That's my plan. I'll see what happens when I get there. I still got a ways to go. Um, and then I'll find out whether or not I can even get in or if the park is actually closed, which may, may, may surprise me, may, may not. It's hard to say. But either way, find out after a while. That answers that. Good to know. Very happy about that. That is what I was hoping for. Uh, Google does show it being very much closed further back and the roads being closed and everything. And they do have a gate even further back where they could close it if they need to. But the road, here look. The road is clear. There's just snow on the sides and everything, but the road is definitely clear. The uh, mountains are very pretty. Look at all that over there. Hopefully you can see everything here. The, uh, the gate was... The, the entrance was the same thing as the last time I came through. Nobody working, of course, because it's cold and miserable and early, and I hope no one has to do anything like that. That sounds awful. But it mentions right on there, 10 miles in, the road is closed. It's, it's very specific. Once you go 10 miles, you cannot go, which is what I read online, that once you get up, um, look at the forest, everything. What I was reading online is that it closes further up at the Colorado uh, Colorado River Trailhead, I think it is, maybe? I don't 100% remember, um, but either way. It is further in that it is closed currently, not breaking any rules, so I have no intention to. I can go along this part for 10 miles. I don't think I'm going all the 10 miles. I'm pretty sure the spots that I'm thinking of, specifically uh, where I saw the elk, um, near there was the big open field and there was a parking lot near there where I could pull in and I can stay in my car because it is six degrees 
and just huddle in the back with the door open and stay warm and um which reminds me, I should go ahead and get my hot hands going now so that they are actually warm and I'm not waiting for them to warm up when I'm using them. So, <clears throat> this is great to know. As long as the road stays clear, this stays open, this is great. This is a, a place that I can come to. Hopefully I'll see the elk here in the winter. I think they'll look very pretty in the snow as a contrast against it. And like I said, that's kind of where I'm going today to see where it is. I do plan on staying in the car because it is going to be cold. Um, and just like the other day, snow is on the way. So uh, I won't be out here a whole day or anything because there will be, uh, there will be snow coming at some point. But that's very exciting to see. They, uh, it's very interesting. I, don't, I did not go far enough because it, it very much was like it's 40-something miles. And I know I didn't go that far to Estes Park. Maybe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I guess that's a big enough attraction. Somebody wrote specifically on there in a different color. You cannot get to Estes Park going through or going through you cannot get to Estes going through the park or something along those lines. It was very specific, so I, I assume enough people come to go to Estes Park, maybe, and they think they can get to it from this side, and no, you have to come at it from the east side, not the west side. Um, I assume, because yeah, they, they definitely do close the mountain so that people are not stuck trying to drive over it. So, either way, happy enough. Got to find out for sure what I what I hoped and what I was, you know, what I was led to believe from reading online that it is open at certain parts. And it actually, I, I got real fearful on the drive up. If you if you look at a map south of uh, Rocky Mountain National Park, are some big lakes, uh, and I started driving past the lakes, and it was thick fog, very low visibility. I thought, oh, this would be interesting to show, but it was not is not safe at all to grab the, the camera and not have two hands on the wheel and be focusing on the road when it was that thick of, of fog. But it was very thick and it made me think, great, I'm going to drive into this and that's what the park is going to be like. And I thought about it and went, well, hopefully not. Hopefully we'll get there and it'll be more like this. <laughs> nice, clear, no fog. <laughs> and not super thick, uh, where there's no visibility, can't see any wildlife, can't see anything at all like it was back around the lakes, which makes sense, the water coming off of it. Um, the, the more southern lake actually looked to just be, like, from what I could see through the fog, it was more fog, a lot more, um, and from what I could see, the lake was still, there was moving water, and then I get up to the more northern one, and it's like frozen over entirely. There's not nearly as much fog because the, the wind is pushing it away, so I can, actually, I can actually see. And there's so much, it's a big tourist area, and there's a lot of people who come up for, for boating on these giant lakes. And so there are marinas all along the sides there, and you can see the docks and the boats stored for the winter and everything like that. And there was one where they pulled all the boats out of the water, obviously, and so it's just empty docks, but it's all snow. <laughs> there's like fresh a blanket of snow over the entire thing. I thought that was neat to see. Um, I've never seen a totally frozen lake like that. I don't know. I mean, the lake is huge. I can't see all of it, and I don't know if the entire thing is frozen, but at least near the shore there, it was frozen, and I did see some some wildlife, some birds uh, on the water where it wasn't frozen, trying to stay warm, I assume. <laughs> anyway, this is what we're doing, and pretty cool. I'm going to drive for a bit until I get to the parking lot and see what's there. <coughs> okay. I have arrived at the parking lot. I just got out of the car to take a look. No, nope, flip around. Big open area. Big open area. Couple of trees. possible. I think it's the best chance I got, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna hunker down in the car here and have the back opened up. I'll set up a camera and just wait and see if I see anything today. It's cold, so it might be a little while, but maybe. I gotta stop talking, so I stop scaring things off. Start hunkering down.
and saw something. I uh, didn't expect to. I mean, I certainly hoped, but I didn't know if I would or not. And yeah, just right out there, there's a there's a path that goes back. Um, and I saw, just sitting right on the path, he came waddling up. Waddling is not the right word, that makes you think it's a bird. I've learned, it's most likely not a wolf, a coyote. I'm sure it was a coyote. Um, but yeah, just a, just a coyote sitting out there and he just, <laughs> just sat like a dog, looking around, looking at me. You can see me, I'm not that far off. Excuse me, another car pulled up in the parking lot while I was here making noise, so it was watching that. Is watching them for a bit, um, and then he did like the dog, the front legs down stretch and the big yawn. I mean, it was like it was like a dog. It was very cute, but it was a, a wild animal, a coyote, I'm sure. Um, and then eventually moved on. But I got some pictures the whole time, and uh, I think they, I think they're gonna be good. Back in the car now. Um, I am on my way out, gonna look and see what I can see as I do a bit of driving, but um, I think that's it for today, probably, unless I see anything else on the drive out of the park. Uh, good good time, good, good spot, good to know that it's still open. That was my main thing for coming out. I don't have a full day today because the snow is coming, but I still, this is Saturday, I'm still off until the next Thursday. So besides, an obligation on Tuesday and then the snow, I should be able to get out again. I don't know if I'll come here, but you know, I'll definitely, sorry, I'll go somewhere. I'll do something. That coyote, that was so cute. I hope that photo comes out because I could just, I, I immediately was like, oh, I can't wait to share that one where it's doing the stretch and the yawn and the whole thing, like both of them and oh yeah, yeah. I hope that came out. That was really cool to see. No birds, which makes sense. Uh, I got the mic is here. When I'm looking that way, it doesn't help. But anyway, really excited to see. That was really cool. I'm glad I got to see something. I've been hoping to see some kind of wildlife, and that was wildlife. So I'm I'm excited for that. That was good stuff. Uh, hopefully more birds. But I imagine this place will be will be a bird paradise come spring and summer. So that's. We just got to make it through the winter, which got a long road ahead of us since it's still just the end of November 
And then there's December and January, February, March, probably April, I'm guessing, is when spring kind of starts here. So it's a long way off, and we'll make do with what we can during the winter. But it's glad to get out, glad to do this. This is good times, good stuff.